So good to see everybody again. This is another five minute session and it's going to be on scheduled payments. It's a smidge over six minutes, closer to seven minutes, but we're still trying to keep them to five minutes. So here we go. Now I'd put in scheduled payments. Uh, these are automatic payments. So it would be your wages coming in every fortnight or week or month. It would be paying the power bill, the phone bill, whatever you do automatically. And the reason that you're going to put in scheduled pay payments is that means that you don't have to post it. You don't have, well, you do have to post it, but you don't have to categorize it. So it just makes life a little bit faster when it comes to doing all of this every month. So this area down here is for scheduled payments and it's very easy to do. Um, so we're going to just create a scheduled payment. So go up to manage scheduled template. And we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to add. So the first thing we're adding is, well, let's add in Abby and Sam's income. So they're getting uh, $3,800 a month each. So we'll put in $3,800. It's going to go into their everyday account. Um, we can say this is Abby's salary. Uh, it could just be from... Abby's employer, you would put in your employer's name and the category will be income, or actually will be wages, salary, and we can say net pay, but I'm just going to say wages and salary to make it easier and go add. And then so that's in there. So that's ready to then add a schedule to. And so we can say, well, she gets paid maybe on the 20th of the month. So her next payment will be the 20th of June. If I can type correctly, um, it's going to be every month. And you do have some more options. Um, if you've got a payment going out that's going to only go out for a certain period of time, then you can stop that um, payment as well. So that's the schedule done. So that one should now pop up into your scheduled payments. And it should pop up every um, every month on the 20th of the month and you can go add and then if you want to do another one let's do one for the phone as an expense let's say they pay $200 a month to the phone it's going out of the everyday account the payee might be um, let's say two degrees uh, and the category this might be for um, we'll just put telephone, we've got telephone and internet, so that's the one we want there, and we can leave it at that and go add the information in there, and for two degrees, we would say maybe that gets paid out on the 20th of the month, and you can turn it on and you can turn it off, so you can see if we turn it off, then the next date doesn't show up, and if we turn it on, then the next date does show up. So that's set in there. So let's do one for a transfer. So this is a transfer. Let's say they're saving $300 a month. It's going to go from their everyday account to their emergency fund. And we can just say, um, save for a rainy day. And the payee doesn't really matter. Um, the category, We'll put it under miscellaneous for now. And then we can think about if we want a different category for that later. Right, so that schedule, and we'll just double check our schedule. And because we, Abby and Sam get paid on the 20th of the month, they're also going to set that transfer up for the 20th of the month. Now, the good thing about that is they're not going to see that money in their everyday account, so they can't spend it. Uh, well, they, they can spend it if they want to pull it from the emergency fund, but the idea is that you distance that money away from yourself so that you're not tempted to spend it because you think you've got more money than what you really should have. So now we've got all of our payments set up, and we close, and there's all of our transactions waiting to go there. Now, when it comes around to the 20th of the month, what you're going to do is you're going to come down and you can either change it Say, for instance, their income isn't exactly 3800 You could edit it. So we could go edit. We could change it to maybe $3,806, for instance. And then you'd go post. 
and that will then go up into their everyday account. And you can see here in this everyday account, they've got their balance, but their future amount is higher. And that's because you've just posted a scheduled payment. So Sam's, you, if you don't want to change the amount, you click post. And again, you've got the future amount going. And now they've got their everyday accounts gone down a little bit. We can then post that. And before we post that, just look at the emergency fund and look at the everyday fund balance. And when you post it, you'll see your emergency fund's gone up by 300 and your everyday account's gone down by 300. And because you've posted those future, um, those scheduled payments, now the next date is going to come up. So that's waiting for you to post next month in July. So if we look at our everyday account, and I'll just bring that one up here, you can see that it's not the 20th of the month yet, so it's in italics, but all of those transactions that are automatic transactions have gone in to the account. So when we get to the 20th of the month, we can go into our bank account in online banking and say, yes, that one has now um, gone through our bank account. And so we could tick the green button and reconcile that, but we'll show you that later on. But that's our scheduled payments done. So we're going to leave it there. Now, one thing you need to do, just a reminder, every time you close out of home bank, click save. If you don't click save, you will lose all of your work. So just make sure you go file, save. And if it's already saved, it's grayed out. So we'll leave it there and we'll catch you for the next one.